NetSuite setup payment batches auto electronic bank payment auto batch setup so I'm going to show you these five steps set up a payment schedule safe search company bank the batch processing portlet and then a quick discussion around the process All right so you can have, go and have a look here at sweet answer 25193 right but rather than go into your transactions um, and paying picking all the different bills one by one on your list it's much better to set that up in my mind as um, automatic so let's go and set up a payment schedule all right so let's say we're gonna do payments once a week on a Wednesday so I'll go Wednesday 6 a.m. Payment schedule for ABA files. All right, and time zone. I'm gonna say, where am I? Sydney event type. Now, there's two event types, right? So, you want to create two payment schedules. You want to create a creation schedule and then a closing schedule. So, this is the creation. So, I'll say uh, creation right no we want it on a weekly when event we want it to happen every week we want it to happen on a wednesday and we want this to happen at 6 a.m in the morning before we get to work so that there is time for this batch to run and it's not gonna be a problem for you so right so let's do this one Control c and we will do now the closing event we'll call this one closing and let's say we do that at 11 a.m. so that gives you five hours to make any changes you want to make and, and we'll go back to Sydney now this is a closing event and we want to do this at 11 a.m. right and we want this to be weekly every week on a Wednesday okay and so there's my closing event so now if we look at the two of them we've got this closing event and the creation event so that is that for the payment schedules all right now we gotta go and create a safe search that is going to find all the transactions so that we don't have to go and manually look for them Right, so it's going to save save you a lot of time, and we want to start with a transaction search. Right, and we'll say weekly bill payment Wednesday order batch. Right. So in our criteria, we want to say mainline, yes, right, we only want to look at mainlines. Then we want to do status, bill, oops, paid in full, not. So we want all bills that have not been paid in full. So there's a balance on those bills. Then we've got transaction approval status. There it is. And we only want to look for approved approved transactions, right? Then we want to go and say which account are we going to use. All right, so you may have multiple AP accounts. So in this case you can see there's three AP accounts. So I'm going to pick this main account. But you can run this for any of those accounts. All right, and then I want to look for the EFT file format. Now in Australia I use ABA so I'm going to 
use an ABA format then I'm going to say for which subsidiary we want to run this alright so let's do US West alright and then let's look at due dates due date by not before custom give me one second sorry I changed it to not on it before and then I want to say relative and let's say seven days from now because um, we don't want to pay our vendors late we're going to pick up any bills with um, a relative due date today or seven days from now so that we can get the next the next week's bills paid you can change that of course anywhere you want but that should get you there so right, results we don't want any of this uh, we don't want that don't want that don't want that don't want that okay now let's save that Right, and now I just want to go run that right, and there it is I'm guessing nothing's gonna come up all right so whatever you see in the safe search is the transactions that will be included included in the batch okay now the next thing you want to go do is you want to go and set up your company bank details right company bank details so let's go new And let's say US West. Pretty sure that's what I said. Can't see it now. Let's just quickly check to confirm. Yes, US West. So that's good. Uh, US West. Company Bank. ABA. Right. And we will use that one and we'll just say Oz Bank legal name and we'll just make that the same. Yes, we want them marked by default. USW Right, EFT template because we're in Australia and I've used um, ABA on that safe search. I've got to use ABA there as well. Right, I'm going to say that there, that there. Right, now this safe search here, weekly bill payment, put that in there. Oops, it's not coming up. One second. Actually, I'm going to save this before I proceed. Cancel. Save this company bank. All right. So the moment that's saved, you will see a whole bunch of new fields now become available. All right. Now I'm picking some random numbers, so some of them might not work. And for Australian purposes, the ABA number is split into branch and bank. Uh, yeah, sure, we want a balancing line. We want to process bill automatically. And yes, we want to use that account there. So let's see how many issues I now have on this. All right, bank account must be nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Alright, and so there's our company bank account. Now we've got to go and do this additional page here. And we'll say US 
weekly patch oh, it's still not coming up don't understand why Okay, now I realize this demo account I'm using does not have the advanced electronic payments and that is why I cannot see, pull up the safe search and there should also, also be an additional um, tab here for routing details. All right, so unfortunately I can't do that. You will set up in the routing details. Um, so in this batch details you've got to have that safe search in there you want to have both your creation and closing schedule in there and you want the email recipient then in the routing tab you're going to say whether you're doing batch or by bill there's like three different options um, and then the last part is you want to go home and you want to go personalize then you want to set up I think it's custom content set up and then you're going to look for this one here payment batch processing portlet right save and then all the batches created overnight will be sitting for you you can then click on view details um, approve them and then your batches are will be processed and you can download the files and upload them to your bank um, Unfortunately, I can't show all of that because I don't have the functionality, but I suggest you seriously consider this because this will save you a huge amount of time.